Here's a trick you can use to make sure that your upper die and lower die are in proper registration. If the upper die center, the bend center, and the lower die are a little bit off, when the die comes down, it's going to shift. So shown here, this is my upper die, this is my back gauge. On my die, the bend center is 0.56 inches from the back. So I registered my back gauge and I pulled it out 0.56 inches plus the distance of my precision parallel, which is an inch and 5 eighths or 1.625. So I'll just go ahead and fit that in here kind of like a feeler gauge. And it's close. I'm not pushing on it too much. And again, this is with the die just sitting slightly above the lower die. So what we can do is we can take some of the sample pieces that we bent before and slide those in on either side. I'm going to go around and crank this die down and put some pressure on it, similar to how it would be if the metal was being bent. The upper die and the lower die now are squeezing the metal, so there's pressure on this. So if these two dies are in proper registration, this upper die shouldn't shift at all, and our distance between the back of it and my back gauge should be the same. So we'll check that. And you can see it's shifted just a tiny little bit. This is actually fitting in here just a little bit looser. I'd say maybe five thousandths of an inch shift somewhere along that line there. So there are screws on the bed that hold the lower die down here. So those could be adjusted so that you can kind of dial out that little bit of slop, but this die has actually shifted forward just a slight amount, and that will affect the accuracy of your bend. So you want to try to get this sort of dead nuts on, and that will help you maintain accurate bends.